Okay, then let's uh, let's talk about uh, rig uh, tab. The rig tab is changing properties of this person. That is the camera is on shoulder. You can change the height. Let's better go in here. And we can go in uh, from the camera here. You can select that rig. As you can see, you can change the height of that person. <clears throat> Parallax, if you're going out, the parallax, as you can see, it's better going here. The parallax, as you can see, uh, it's changing the position of hand of this person. As you can see, it's coming here. You can animate it higher or bring it closer. Head, head, mm, it's better to. It's better to change it to this simple. Uh, imagine that is a bar with another bar. It's uh, install the camera on it like a camera crane. <clears throat> Going to the rig and the head, as you can see, it's turning the rotating the camera around this center. This is the head. Or in this direction, as you can see can rotate it in this direction or this direction as you can see it's based on this person or simple or its own camera you can rotate its own camera any direction that you want up and down and that's nice you can rotate it in any direction that you want it's a rig but important thing here is the link. For example, I uh, create a simple scene and uh, um, from here, it's not important. From here, I have a simple camera. I don't want to insert <coughs> camera motion like this. I have a simple camera here that I'm going inside that. Animate it from this frame going to... Yeah, this frame and bring it closer and another animate. And as you can see, I have a simple animate there. But I want to add a motion to my camera, not insert another camera motion. In this time, you have to select your camera and use the first way. Click and select the motion camera. And what happened? And as you can see in the motion camera, we linked this our default camera this is the benefit of the links you can link your camera to the motion camera <clears throat> and because of the inherit application here inherit uh, sitting here it's inherit the parameter of the this camera to our motion camera it means for example if you select something white angle here and then going to your motion camera and going to this object as you can see it's the same as this it inherit the properties of this camera to the this camera and you can hide this camera and just use the motion camera don't forget to see a motion you have to go to the motion camera and and as you can see we have no motion what happened because in this way we don't have any motion in our uh, properties here. I explain it, but select it, for example, steady cam that you want, and then you have your motion. Nice. As you can see, don't forget, go to view of your motion camera, not view of our default camera. And as you can see, if you go into view, default camera, you have no motion. <clears throat> and as you can see, the motion camera is moving this way and that way just we have to go to the view of the motion camera and you can forget your default camera because you inherit you convert this camera to the motion camera because before inserting the motion camera you select it and this is all about this link inherit properties another thing that i want to explain it's uh, overwrite rig dimension both of these settings are important and they have to be turned on if you if you come here as you can see we have two cameras you can see it, that they are exactly at the same dimension because of override rig dimension if you untick that as you can see 
we have this is our default camera and this is our motion camera that this camera is converted to this camera because we don't want to exactly override the dimensions uh, we have that person that is above that our camera you can go to the rig tag and tell the software override the rig dimension it means uh, it's delete this person and the motion camera is going exactly to the position of the uh, default camera that you selected before and they are exactly matched to each other so this link is important when you want to you have a default camera and you want to convert it to motion camera and don't forget to turn the motion on and go to view of your motion camera not your default camera hello my friends to continue these tutorials on youtube subscribe us like us and hit the bell icon and now you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release